kind of regain his footing, kind of lost his footing, and just precautionary took him out of the game. And tonight was a scheduled night off as Jose Siri swings and misses in the first pitch. Houston Astros. And he gets a swing and a miss from Siri on the breaking ball to start this game. And that's down and in. That's another walk for Michael Brantley, who has reached in nine straight games. That's seven walks over his last five. That's a four-pitch walk to Bregman. So the last nine pitches thrown by Eric Fetty, eight of them have missed the zone. Three home runs his last two games. And he takes one down and in. That'll be ball four, and the bases will be loaded after three consecutive walks. But 0 for 3 with a walk. This one shot up the middle, but right there is D. Strange Gordon. He will step on the bag, and Tucker will be out at first base. They turn the double play on a rocket up the middle, and somehow Eric Fetty escapes without allowing a run in the first inning. Opponent for the first time. Out here, probably faced the Nationals a few times in spring training, but facing them for the first time in a regular season game. The rest tomorrow. Swing and a miss, Javier gets Hernandez on strikes. And that's how his night starts, picking up a strikeout of Cesar Hernandez. And he swings the first pitch and drills one to right. Back goes Tucker, still going back. He will play it off the wall. Soto digs for two. Here comes Tucker's throw. It will not be in time. Juan Soto with a double off the wall and right. Off the plate, a four-pitch walk, Javier. Walks Nelson Cruz here to put runners on first and second with. That ball hit hard and past the diving Nico Goodrum into right center field. That'll be a run scoring base hit for Yadio Hernandez. And the Nationals take the early lead in this game, one to nothing. Robert Valdez threw more first inning pitches than Josiah Gray. This ball hit high in the air to right field. Kyle Tucker going back. He is at the track and he puts it away on the warning track. Hey, Ruiz didn't miss that one by much. A deep fly out for the final out of the inning. Nationals take the lead on the Yadiel Hernandez RBI single. There's a ball up the middle for a base hit. Yuli Gurriel, three hits in this series. He's now three for five against the Nationals. And a leadoff base runner here in the second. There goes Yuli Gurriel, swing and a miss, and the throw will not be in time. Yuli Gurriel picks up a steal. His second of the season. Swing and a miss. Maldi goes down on strike. So Fetty, though he's thrown a lot of pitches here through two innings, is not allowed to run. And the Nationals lead one to nothing. Um, he's really good out of the bullpen and he's really good as a starter. So you just kind of use him in both. Swing and a miss. El Reptil picks up a strikeout. Christian Javier gets his second strikeout of the game. What Angels played today against Oakland and lost four to three. So the Astros lead by a game starting tonight's play. There's a swing and a miss. Good inning for Christian Javier. Starts the inning and ends the inning with a strikeout. Called third strike on the inside corner. Betty picks up his four strikeout. Swing and a miss. Betty picks up a strikeout of Alex Bregman. He strikes out Siri and Bregman in a 1 2 3 third inning. Better this year against righties. 324 coming in, 266 overall. And he takes one up and away. Ball four. That'll be walk number 27. Swing and a miss. Got him to chase up. There's that elevated fastball from Javier for strikeout number four. That ball hit hard in the left field on an 0-2 pitch. Nelson Cruz singles to left. Third hit of the night for Washington. That ball hit to deep right field. Tucker all the way back near the wall. Looks up and that ball's gone. Three run home run. Yadiel Hernandez. And the Washington Nationals lead four to nothing. Hernandez has driven them all in. We got a slider down and in. Brought the hands in and dropped the barrel down. The only question was 
was it going to stay fair? That right field line really creeps back in towards the hitter and towards home plate, so that distance shortened. Little tapper left side against the ship. That'll be an easy hit for K. Bet Ruiz. Bregman knew as soon as that ball was hit, he didn't have a play on the ball. He just wanted to keep it on the infield. He's not able to go five. Swing and a miss. Javier picks up a strikeout of Michael Franco, who fires his bat and his helmet away. But a three run inning for the Nationals. Yadiel Hernandez with a three run shot to make it 4 0. It's a true story. <laughs> Kyle Tucker pops one up. Soto doesn't see this. Nobody does. Nobody sees it right now. That's going to fall in for a hit. Soto put his arms out last time when Jordan Alvarez hit a fly ball. Yuli sends one to left field. That's going to be down towards the wall. Tucker will score easily. Yuli Gurriel, two for two, puts the Astros on the board. It's now a four to one game. That ball hit sharply. Fair ball down the left field line. Bouncing off the stands. Yuli will head home. Alen Miss Diaz an RBI single. Astros cut the lead to 4-2. to two. Swing and a miss. Down goes Goodrum. That is six strikeouts for Eric Fetty. That ball hit to center field. Victor Robles there puts it away for the final out of the inning. Three consecutive hits though. Turn a 4-0 deficit and cut the lead in half. Astros now trail 4-2. First time up. Little tapper up the line. Yuli thought Christian was going to get the baseball and he never did. So Yuli went to go get it and that allowed Strange Gordon to reach base. Little bunt attempt to the right side again. Yuli wasn't sure if Christian was going to get it or not. Nobody gets the bunt. A little. You get back and get that force at second base, but you've got some speed. That's a good bunt. That's what you were talking about. Bregman has to stay home to make the play. Cesar Hernandez puts the bunt in a perfect spot, moving the runners. Center and right. Brantley can sneak up on you and give you a good assist, and that was the unintentional intentional. Load things up. Nelson Cruz. Fly ball right center field. Well hit. Tucker will go to the wall. It's off the wall. Two runs will score. Here comes Soto with a third run. A bases clearing double by Nelson Cruz. And the Washington Nationals answer plus some. They now lead this game 7-2. to two. Allowed 7 tonight. A little tapper towards the mound. Maton will play it on a couple of hops and underhand it to Yuli Gurriel. That will do it for the Nationals, but a big bases clearing two out double by Nelson Cruz. And the Nationals have broken this open at seven to two. The lefty Josh Rogers, we saw him in the game last night. Siri gets into one towards center field. This ball well struck, this ball gone. Jose Siri, deep to left center field, puts one out for his second home run of the year. And the Astros get one back, it's now seven to three. That was put on a tee for Siri. Slider, center cut. Siri staying back. Saw him in the dugout talking to Alex Cintron about maybe a couple of adjustments in that swing, and he destroyed that thing. We told you about all the lefties do up with Brantley, and then the Baltimore now two seasons with the Washington Nationals. Three two pitches outside ball four, and Bregman draws the walk. Swing and a miss. Jordan goes down on strikes. First time he has struck out. In the last four games, and there's two away in the inning. Tucker pops this one up. Playable for the third baseman, Michael Franco, over there in the ship. And he puts it away in foul territory for the final out. Season, but now there is one at the end of the year because the Philly series was moved to the back of the schedule. Phil Maton on for his first full inning of work, got the final out of the fourth inning, and he is greeted by K. Bert Ruiz. With a single to left, Ruiz now two for three on the. And 
Franco sends one deep to center field. Siri all the way back. He's near the wall. Watches that one go. Michael Franco with a third home run of the year. And the Nationals have really brought the offense to the Houston Astros pitching staff tonight with a nine spot. A staff that had only allowed 12 runs in the previous 11 games. Franco with a two run home run. Still have the offense to come back in this game, but it's going to take a little bit of effort. Looked like a slider that just stayed up, and Franco got all over it, launched it into left center field. There's ball four outside. That one's lofted high in the air towards left field, playable for Brantley for the first time tonight. Soto is retired. And that'll do it for the Nationals in the fifth. But they add on two runs, a Michael Franco two run home run. That ball hit hard, and that's a base hit. Alenbis Diaz has hits in consecutive at bats. And he's a one out base runner for the Astros here in the sixth inning. Pitch with both Chicago teams the two years prior to that as Goodrum goes down for a third time on strikes. That's two outs in the inning. Here's Martin Maldonado. Maldonado singles into center field. Well, Maldi picks on the first pitch and delivers a single. Probably caught Cishek a few times last spring. Some big two out hits tonight. Siri with a line drive base hit into left field. Ledbis will be held up. As that ball got to Yadio Hernandez in a hurry. The bases will be loaded on three hits in the inning. There's a line drive, base hit into center field. One run scores, Maldonado being held up. Astros now trail nine to four. Four hits in the inning as Brantley singles into center field. Try to sneak a fastball in there and he does. Outside corner, Bregman doesn't like the call. That has not always been a strike tonight for Allen Porter, but a big strike called there. And the Astros will leave the bases loaded. There's a ball into left field for a hit. Bell, the leadoff base runner for the Nationals. They have had the leadoff runner on the last three innings as he singles into left. There's a looper that's going to find its way into center field for a base hit. Back to back singles for the Nationals tonight. They have. Oh, Tapper, Blake Taylor off the mound, gloves it, and he will take it to the bag himself. There was a little indecision there whether he was going to flip it to Yuli or make the undecision. If the ball's hit to Goodrum, he would have a tough time making the play. But this ball gets away from Maldonado. Here comes Bell to try and score, and he will. That is run number 10 for the Nationals. They now lead this game 10 to 4. Inside ball four. A couple of hits and a walk here in the inning. That ball hit well down the left field line, and it's going to be a fair ball to the corner. Trotting in to score, Nelson Cruz to third and being held up, K. Bert Ruiz. RBI double for Michael Franco, who's followed up his two run home run with an RBI double. Swing and a miss. Taylor able to get the strange Gordon on strikes. And is out number two, in batting 220, but 308 against lefties. There's a ball in the left field for a hit. One run will score. Two runs will score. More runs tonight for the Washington Nationals and the Astros allowed in their entire 11 game winning streak. Games by this pitching staff. Ground ball. The Astros are finally going to get out of the inning, but the Nationals have put up another four runs. They have scored in five of the six frames tonight and lead this game 13 to four after six. And there's a three hit night for Yuli Gurriel. Gurriel turns first and he'll hold up. Now he's going to try and take advantage because Robles was kind of taking his time. How about Yuli taking advantage of Robles just holding the ball out there. Double for Yuli. His second double tonight is 13th on the year and Aled Miss Diaz sends one to center field. Robles backs up on this one and he'll be able to make the play here for the final out of the inning. So a double one man left on base. And then had the drive to the ballpark. <laughs> 
a three o'clock game. He's working on fumes now because he didn't find out until after his night game with the Durham Bulls. His bell goes down on strikes. So then Stanek drives from Hartford to ball. 2 1 pitch hit high in the air to right field. Hit pretty well, but that launch angle doesn't help him as Kyle Tucker waits for it to come out of the Washington, D.C. sky. And so. 1 2 ERA. Doing a good job here in Nationals Park. Goodrum hits a fly ball to left field. Back goes Hernandez. He's near the wall, and it bounces off of his glove, and it bounces off of the wall. Nico Goodrum is going to reach second base. That was well struck the other way, but it looked like Hernandez had a play in the. Swing and a foul tip caught by K. Bear Ruiz. There's a strikeout for Tanner Rainey for out number one. That ball is a fair ball down the left field line. Three consecutive hits for Jose Siri. This one will score a run. Siri might get three out of it. Yadio Hernandez will track it down, and Jose Siri will go in sliding with a triple. Ball gets away, but Tanner Rainey there to back it up. So Siri, a home run, a double, and a triple his last three at bats. In the AO West tonight. This ball ground to the third. The infield's back. So Chaz puts the ball in play and gets an RBI out of it. It'll be run number six for the Astros as Jose Siri crosses the plate. It's now 13 to 6. Swing and a miss. Bregman goes down. A couple of runs. Triple and an error in the inning. And the Astros down 13 to 6, heading to the bottom of the eighth. But it's a little unusual that sometimes. Not always, but usually pitchers run in circles, hitters run in circles. But for a pitcher and a hitter to be, did you ever have the situation where you were facing somebody who you was really swing and a miss? Naris strikes out Michael Franco, and that ends the inning. One, two, three inning for Naris here in the eighth. Terrible taking him out of the middle of his hat. What is, he his, ruined it. I totally ruined it. I wish I had video of that. <laughs> Called third strike. You were not thought he had drawn a walk, but Alan Porter says differently. Tucker will pick up a base hit in his last at bat. How about the Astros with a dozen hits tonight? Last year. Three for four tonight. Look up. Hey, hey. Yeah. That hit him. That clipped him. Yuli got hit by a pitch. I grew up in Rhode Island, went to University of Maine. Little chopper towards second, glove there, and with the tag made, we're going to say Yuli went out of the baseline. That's going to be a game ending double play. Hernandez never tagged Yuli, but he was called out for going out of the baseline, and that'll end the game with a final score of 13 to 6. So the Astros' 11 game winning streak comes to a close. Allowing more runs tonight than they did during that 11 game winning streak and the Nationals win the middle game of this three game series. Don't forget coming up after the game is the Astros post game show presented by Whataburger. We'll have Kevin Eschenfelder and Mike Stanton bring you all the analysis and highlights of this one. Julia will get some interviews as well. Astros post game show presented by Whataburger comes up right after this.